up guys? I thought I'd make a little bit of a quick video to explain Enway's new deal plan and I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of it. So as you all know, RJ did release yesterday and after we unlocked him, a money deal popped up. So I begged the question, what happened to Warrior Boost? So my theory is that Enway's taking a new approach to Warrior Boosting by people spending real money right after you unlock the character with power crystals. Now, obviously, there's always a catch to these things. It's just that um, it's a lot of it's a lot of take in because you know we were so used to seeing Warrior Boost for the new characters that came out. We boosted them, got them to challenge level, but now they kind of took it a step further. And I was like talking with DC Destiny about this. Like, I think there's just there's pros and cons to this, and there's a lot of pros and cons that kind of outweigh each other. But break even to the fact that like the scale on this is now in a neutral stance. So to explain this is you buy a character, right? You didn't have the power, but you got the power crystals to get the character. You get them at level one. Okay, good. Um, so pretty much I bought the RJ deal. I bought it, I guess you could say three times, just so I can get him to level three challenge level. So what Enway's new system is, it's gonna be like, in my head, it's like, all right, so Enway wants me to spend $90 to get RJ to a challenge level. Okay, makes sense. But I feel like that's good in the sense that A, since they did this money deal, they're actually giving you power crystals back. If they didn't give you power crystals, it would make it tougher on you for future characters. The reason why these these deals are good, and I hate to say that it's good because it is money, but still a good spec for like YouTubers, streamers, or just players in general, that kind of want their character at like a decent level. I would always say get your character to three, but if you're feeling generous, get him to four if you feel like it. Getting him to four cost $102 on top of that 90 you spend. So it'd be like $190 for a level four legendary. Okay, not too bad. But like the reality is for this um, system is, will it be continuous and they see how good they do in sales because in my mind, this deal isn't too bad because A, if you play your cards right, every you'll be be able to unlock every character to a challenge level state with the $90 you were probably going to spend anyways on the warrior boost. So they kind of, in a way, made it simpler. You're actually, believe it or not, saving more money doing this one. You're saving like 20 bucks now, which is cool. It's it's awesome, but I know how this can affect some of the like lower player base that don't like have jobs and like they just unlock the character with crystals, but now they realize they can't level it up also negotiable see my issue is if you get this character to like let's say let's say you did go for the four now you got like all these power crystals because if you went for the four you would get an extra 9,800 power crystals okay that's 23,000 power crystals for the next character but after I unlock that character I still have to pay money again just to level them up to a challenge level so again pros and cons of this. Yes, I'm getting power crystals back for trying to get him to a challenge level, and it helps me buy the next character. But again, I'm about to spend another 90 just trying to get the next character we buy to with 90 bucks, again. So I wanna say like maybe if you think, I think about it in this sense, um, you're saving money. Somehow you are. I don't know how you're doing, but it's like you're somehow saving money on this game a little bit more because you don't have to spend too much. Uh, best way to put it. It's the it's the facts that matter is that this deal uh, does rise every time uh, you do go for the full. And from what I heard from other people, it stops at level six. And it's pretty much an extra, what is it? Like around like $266 from five to six, like around that. So on top of all the money you do spend, the level five going up to 400 and then spending an extra 200, you spend about 700 just for a level six um, legendary. Okay, sounds like you saved some money getting a level six. That's a pretty good deal. So I wanna take into consideration, did Enway take those last Street Fighter deals, right? 
that were like money warrior boost and they said oh we're we actually did good on these guys like we made some money just by selling them in like packs like this maybe we should do it more just these money deals and maybe now they're taking that into consideration believe it or not to give like their new characters these deals now i mean i'm in my head like i guess i'm all for it you know because i'm getting power crystals back so depending on what you spend We'll unlock the char the new character, and then you're gonna build the same amount of characters again. Not too bad. Okay, it's just that you know you'll at least you know your budget is is gonna be like this. At least maybe once every month, maybe 180 goes into Enway's pocket just so you can have the new character at a decent ladder level so you can play them. Makes sense. The only the only issue is again I the people that go ham spending $700 for power crystals, it really doesn't matter. Because now those crystals mean jack crap and you still have to spend the same amount of money again. So I think of it this way and kind of think of it like uh, spending smart. I would always say kind of go for the level 3. If you want a level 4, it's on you. We're not going to stop you. But I just feel like in my mind and what this deal is about is like you're a content creator you want to like show these characters off you want to make tips and tricks um get them to challenge level honestly and then you can just go from there again that's how i see it from a youtuber you know point of perspective that's kind of how where i can see this game going but i just find it weird that um you know we went to this like money train on Thanksgiving, it's it's weird. It's almost like a Black Friday sale for a legendary. I don't know if this is gonna continue. I don't know how this is gonna work. But all I know is that the pro and con of this is you can spend 90 and get the next new character with that those power crystals, but you have to spend another 90 just to get them to the warrior level again. All right, I understand. But now you look at the people that do well on the character that get them to level five or four and they got all these power crystals and believe it or not their crystals won't degenerate but that depends on them if they want to get into a challenge level state it's uh it's a lot to take in a lot of process with where this thing is going but um we'll have to see in the future how these deals will play out but so far i have mixed feelings on it i'm mixed i don't know i don't know how i feel about it I just feel I'm like in the middle between like this is good and bad at the same time but if I want to give you guys good content just going the 90 bucks on these characters might just be the key because in reality they refresh you 9,000 crystals when you get them to a challenge level state so hopefully if boxes do tend to be like RJ's and it took me about 11,000 crystals just to unlock them it won't be so bad depends if they change the random number generator and then it will start getting bad to where you'll actually need more crystals so we gotta watch out for that anyways guys thanks for watching this um video on the new deal i know it kind of felt weird seeing a money deal but now i see why enway is going this route and maybe why it's doing it the way it is so anyway guys peace out be good stay safe and thanks for watching this little video to better understand Enway's new new road